Hello. In this video, I will show you how to backup Microsoft 365 objects directly to Amazon S3 with Nikivo backup and replication. You can use cloud targets as primary storage for your Microsoft 365 backups or to store backup copies and implement the 3 2 1 strategy. To start, make sure you've added your Microsoft 365 account to the inventory. You can find the link on how to add a Microsoft 365 account to your instance of Nikivo backup and replication in the top right corner. Make sure you also have an AWS account added to the inventory with available buckets where the backup repository will be created. You can also find a link on how to add your AWS account under this video. Now, let's create a backup repository in one of the Amazon S3 buckets. Switch to repositories and click the plus button in the top right corner, choose create new backup repository. The create backup repository wizard opens. At the type step, select cloud and S3 compatible storage. Click next to proceed. At the vendor step, select Amazon S3. Click next again. At the name and location step, you can specify a name for your repository, specify the assigned transporter, and choose your AWS account and region. In my example, I'll name the repository 365 AWS S3 and choose US East, North Virginia, for the AWS region. Then, let's specify the target bucket, in my case it's 365 to blob. Once done, click next. At the final options step, we can set options for storage savings, reliability of our backups, and scheduled detach of the new repository. In this guide, I leave the default options and click finish. In the repositories list, you can track the repository creation process. When the repository is ready for use, we can create our first backup to Amazon S3. To do that, go to the data protection tab and click the plus button and then backup for Microsoft 365. The new backup job wizard for Microsoft 365 opens. At the sources step, select the items that you want to back up. I select one mailbox and click next. At the destination step, select the recently created repository in Amazon S3. Note that you can use other cloud platforms like Azure Blob and Wasabi as well as any other S3 compatible platforms in your environment. Click next. At the schedule step, you can configure a schedule for the backup job and retention settings. You can set the backup job to run weekly, monthly, yearly, periodically or after another job. Also, you can set the period of days, weeks or months to retain the recovery points before they are replaced with newer ones. You can also protect your recovery points against encryption by ransomware or other unauthorized changes to them by using immutability. Note that to use this feature, object lock and versioning have to be enabled for your bucket in Amazon S3. I set the immutability period for 3 days. In my case, I set the backup job to run on demand. At the options step, you can specify the job name, set the priority for this job, set mailbox processing parameters and other backup settings. You can also enable backup encryption for Microsoft 365 backups in addition to making them immutable to protect them against breaches and improve the resilience of your data protection infrastructure. In the mailbox processing section, you can choose the data from the chosen Microsoft 365 mailboxes that you want to include in backups. In this example, I set only email messages, calendar events and contacts. However, the solution can also back up OneNotes, public folders, in-place archive, in-place hold and litigation hold data. In full backup settings, you can set the schedule for full backup and choose between the synthetic full and active full backup modes. To run the job right away, I click finish and run. In the pop-up, I set the job run scope to run for all items and also configure the job to keep recovery points for 30 days. Then I click run. We're back to the data protection dashboard where we can see that the backup job has started and is preparing for data transfer. You can track the process of the data transfer to the Amazon S3 bucket to see when the backup is complete. And this concludes our video. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, click the like button and subscribe to our channel to catch new uploads. You can also download a free trial version of Nikivo Backup and Replication using the link in the description and try Nikivo Backup for Microsoft 365 in your own environment for 15 days.